Welcome back to the House of Hughes. Things are going great today. Miss Bel Lovely. I thought that Sissy and I were gonna be able to film a little bit before Bubba got home, but Sissy is asking to go night night. And as you could tell by that quick little intro, someone is a sleepy girl, huh? Pussy. Yeah, are you sleepy? Do you wanna go night night? Pussy. Yeah, what? What do you think? She's addicted to Baby Shark, but look at that hand placement. Pussy. That hand is placement you? is, I'm trying to go to sleep in mommy's arms. Yeah, you wanna get down? I like your sweat set, girly. You look beautiful. This sweet little thing is just so sleepy. Oh my goodness, she's so stinking cute. You sleepy? Yeah. She's got her stroller. I usually try and keep Blakely awake until Beckham gets home because Beckham is getting home in like 10 minutes. And I like to feed them both so that I can have them sleep at the same time. Every mom knows like you wanna capitalize on nap time 100%. But we might not be able to do that today because this little chica is tired. Today I am preparing to go to Las Vegas. Tomorrow Hunter and I leave with another couple we're good friends with. So I need to go ahead and pack, do the laundry, get everything done. But I also wanted to chat with you guys a little bit about something that has just really been on my mind that I wanna share with you. So during nap time, your girl is gonna sit down in her little chit chat spot and we are going to have a little talk about something that's really important to me and I'm excited to talk to you guys about it as I always am. You know your girl can chat, so grab a drink, grab a snack. I'm excited for today's video. All right, should we put this little chica to bed? Yeah, you doing your dances? I'm gonna put her down and of course we will have to say hi to Beckham as soon as he gets home from school before we put him down for his nap. Guys, I'm so sorry. I forgot to film with Beckham as soon as he got off the bus because I just fed him quickly and put him down for his nap because the little man was so tired. So I'm just gonna get a few things done around the house but I will definitely be showing you guys the kids when Beckham wakes up. I feel like it's been a hot minute since we did therapy here at home just because he's getting so much activity in during preschool and oh my gosh, you guys, seriously so cute. Beckham's teacher sent me the most adorable picture of him playing at recess. I'm like obsessed. So I'll have to insert that on the screen. I was finding it on my phone, but you know what? I'm just gonna like put it up on the screen for you guys because it was so cute. And she was like, he's having so much fun at recess. And it was just the cutest picture. And I love getting messages from her. Also, I have to tell you guys, little Blakers, I was going to the bathroom. This is always happening. Like every time I go to the bathroom, Blakely does something crazy. <laughs> and I think I have her under control, but like, I just clearly don't. She got into my shower and I'm just like, oh my goodness. I have that little thing that's like homemade that we put over the shower and it was working. <laughs> But she got in because I forgot to like re-slide it over after showering yesterday. She gets in and of course my purple shampoo is in her reach and she gets purple shampoo all over her hands and then touches her hair. And I'm like, oh my gosh, my little girl's hair is gonna turn purple. So I had to rush her upstairs and bathe her. So we played in the bath this morning and we went on our walk and that was really nice. But it's just been kind of like, boom, hectic morning. And I have a ton to do to get ready for a trip. This vlog might transfer into tomorrow. I'm not sure. If it doesn't, I'm gonna do like one little vacation vlog for you guys. But I know that you guys are mostly interested in cake content, so don't even stress. I will not be showing you like every single day in Vegas by any means, but I need to get ready to go. But I told you guys I wanted to have a little chit chat, so we will do that right now while the kids are sleeping. <laughs> Don't mind my blinds going up. I finally had the guy come and like exchange the batteries for them, which was super nice because they were like beeping all the time and sometimes they randomly wouldn't work, which was not a vibe when I'm like really reliant on natural lighting for all of my filming. Chloe, can you say hi to the vlog? Say hello vlog, we love you. Mwah. This chit chat is not gonna be long. It's gonna be a shorter chit chat, which I know is hard to believe, but it's true. I have made a couple videos on my channel talking to you guys about Hunter and I deciding not to have any more kids. And my feelings have really just evolved and I kind of wanted to talk to you guys about it because I had the opportunity to open up to a few friends. That was Chloe, by the way. She's like laying down next to me here, I'll show you. Hi, Closter. How's my baby girl? Yeah, you want to be petted, my little pampered girl. Sorry for that side note, but I think we all love seeing Chloe. <laughs> Anyways, I got the chance to open up to a couple of my girlfriends, and I just talked to them about all of the positive things that I now see that comes with deciding not to have another child. When I was making the decision on whether I wanted to have kids or not, I really felt kind of stripped of that choice in a way. My pregnancies were really high risk, as most of you know, and I really gave up a big, beautiful dream of having a lot of kids. That's always how I envisioned my life when I was little. 
And obviously motherhood is just very unique for me with having a child with disabilities, but I absolutely love and adore Beckham and I wanna make sure that I prioritize him and give him the best life he can possibly have. And I knew that God was telling me personally, this isn't for every child with a disability and every family is different, but for us personally, having more children was certainly not the answer. And I really struggled with that because I thought, would he do better with more siblings? And I just felt it was confirmed over and over again, like we are not supposed to have more kids. Blakely completed our family. And it's so interesting how I don't feel like any sort of sadness at this point any longer. And I feel like it really didn't linger for very long. And once I made my decision and was like more open about it, it really just solidified and finalized the decision for me. And it made me realize all of the positives and I'll like joke with my friends, like, you know, I'm out of my baby making years when you guys are up in the middle of the night, I'll be having full days with my kids in school. Like I just kind of try to play it lighthearted because I think deep down, you know, it is difficult when you have a plan for your life and God's plan is here, not here like yours was. And at the end of the day, you're always so grateful that God's in charge and not you. But I felt like that was a really big thing for me to accept. And I just wanted to give you guys like a little update that I am just feeling so positive and so confident about not having any more children. And I know that that is such an odd thing because my channel is like so family oriented. And I really wish that I could have like filmed and documented an entire pregnancy for you guys. I felt like that would have been so fun, so much great content. But at the end of the day, I started my family prior to making a YouTube channel. So I didn't get the opportunity to document any of that. But I had just a really big shift in mindset and I wanted to share that a lot of times when you're really, really afraid to make a decision or you're just feeling really sad about maybe a decision that you know is right, but it's the harder choice, but you know that that's what God wants for you. Once you make that choice and show God, like I'm a hundred percent in, I know this is what you want me to do and I'm going to do it, even if it's really difficult and hard for me, I feel like God is so quick to validate your decision to obey him and listen to him. And I really feel strongly about that now and I wanted to share that with you because I'm sure that so many of you are looking at difficult decisions that need to be made in your life that are maybe the more difficult choice even though you know it's the right one and I just want you to know that if you have the courage to make that choice God is going to take care of you and he will take care of you quickly he will tell you quickly how grateful he is for you listening to him and putting your faith in him and I also feel strongly that sometimes it's important to just make a decision and God will quickly tell you if that maybe wasn't the best decision or maybe you misunderstood what he wanted and I think agency is really important you know we have a right to choose and I think God oftentimes leaves that decision up to us. And I just feel really strongly that we made the right choice in not having any more children and just being able to watch Blakely grow up and watch the progress that Beckham is making. I am just so happy and so grateful that they have my full attention, that I'm not worried about trying to get another child here. And I am just so, so grateful for the decision that I made to focus on the two children that I do have here and not get too caught up on the idea or plan that I had for my life when God handed me the most beautiful life I could ever imagine. So I just wanted to share that with you guys really quickly. I know that sometimes you must look at these titles and think like, why is she making a whole video about this? But you guys are like my best friends and sometimes I just want to update you on how I'm feeling emotionally about decisions I've made or things I've talked about previously on my channel. So I hope you like hearing like little updates on my thought processes. So Chloe and I would like to thank you for listening to us and hanging out with us for a second. Mwah. I'm gonna go put in a big fat load of laundry and get to some editing and I will check back in with you guys once the babies are awake. Okay, the kids aren't awake yet, but just like really quick, I had to show you this cute new set that I got from White Fox. You know, I'm obsessed with anything that's a matching sweat set. I work from home, so you know, comfy queen over here. But I love the little writing and detailing. This is not sponsored, they have no idea I exist. But it comes with these cute little matching sweats and I love that it's just like an oversized look, super casual, super comfy. But I think this is in the color mushroom, question mark, something like that. 
but it just has a cute little hood, plain back. Oh, just kidding, the back is not plain. It has this cute little logo on it as well, but the back of the sweatpants are blank. And I just think it is so, so cute, so I had to show you guys. So surprise, Hunter and I are actually in Vegas. I did not end up finishing my vlog from a couple days back. I think the last clip that you guys just saw was me telling you that I would check in when the babies wake up. Surprise, they're awake. It's been a couple days. The babies are with grandma and grandpa and Hunter and I are here in Vegas. We are just relaxing, having fun. We're going to a little day club today. So we're gonna lay out by the pool. We had an incredible night last night. We went to Lisa Vanderpump's cocktail restaurant and it was amazing. We are staying at the Rio and right now we're gonna go get some coffee and see if we can get in a quick lift before we go to the pool today. I'm gonna vlog like a tiny, tiny bit. I don't even think I'll do like a full Vegas vlog, but I am gonna get some clips for you guys for the end of this vlog. Okay, Hunter and I just went and got coffee just here at the hotel, and I think I found my new favorite Starbucks drink of all time. I got the, I'm gonna say this wrong, but I got like the brown sugar oat milk shaken espresso. Okay, wait, I think I said that right. But let me tell you how to make it perfect. You need to add eight pumps of sugar-free vanilla, and I know that sounds crazy and everyone looks at me weird when I do it, but this is the best tasting drink that you can get at Starbucks, it's so amazing. And then Hunter got the chocolate almond milk shake and espresso, which I also love, and he got one that didn't have any pumps of sugar-free vanilla, and so thank goodness I ordered a second drink and got the same thing with pumps of sugar-free vanilla because he likes mine way better. Sissy, what are you doing? We miss you, baby. Did you find Beckham's walker? <laughs> that is so funny. Oh, she put her hands out to reach for Oh, us. sissy, you're so cute. That is so adorable. Yeah, you go, girl. Oh, we miss you so much, baby girl. Can we see the boy, mama? Say, Nani, my hair looks so beautiful. Her hair looks so cute like that. Oh. Hi, Baba. <laughs> Oh my goodness, the hand behind the head. You are kidding me. Hi, oh, baby. Hi, Beckham. We miss you, oh. baby. You are so cute. Hi, my handsome boy. Wow, see, my hair is looking dark because it's so long. <laughs> Hi, cutie. So, so how did he do with food yesterday? Did he keep his food down? <sighs> Guys, we freaking love vacationing when it's just the two of us. We do. But all we've talked about all morning is our kids. <laughs> was that not the cutest FaceTime ever? Blakely was, was in the little walker. gate trainer. Yeah. <laughs> well, because she loves, you know, she's so observant. She just loves copying Beckham. It's the cutest thing. And Beckham's face, it's so cute to see how just like, Holy crap, Hunter looks so buff. Holy crap. Oh, yeah. No, no, go back to that angle. Look at your arm. Holy guacamole. <laughs> You're so sweet. Um, but Beckham, it's so cool to just see like how aware he is because when we come on FaceTime, yeah, he just fun. lights up. He is so freaking yeah. cute. I think um, as soon as he heard dad's voice, um, I think he was like, oh, I, rec I sense mom, but then as soon as he realized it was dad, he was. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Did you say you? you know <laughs> If Beckham, if you're Beckham's favorite, we all freaking know Rachel, that Blakely okay. is obsessed with our mom. Fine. Beckham, I am more than happy with taking you as my favorite. And Blakely, you you picked your Don't side. You what? made your bed, baby girl. I'm sure it'll swap. Oh, <laughs> guys. It'll work I'm abs. sure. I'm sure it'll swap as time goes on. But we have, okay, let's see. Oh, we no probably forehead. have an hour. I didn't even realize. We have an hour until we need to leave. So Rachel literally has been antsy Ooh. since we woke up to work out. Like, we'll go on vacation and... It, can I be in the... Sorry, here, you hold, you hold. <laughs> we'll, go on, we'll go on vacation and every vacation she'll say, you're working out with me, right? And see, I'll, <laughs> I view vacation as you. vacation. Um, I love working out. It's yeah, fun. Yeah, it's one of the things Rachel loves. So that's the reason for you know proceeding with the divorce. You guys, this coffee, like, it's so good. I'm stuck to my core. Did you tell them the mm. whole? Okay. I got you. Guys. Your barista <gasps> will hate you. Wait! Oh my gosh! I want to say hi to Priscilla. I met her yesterday. That was that cute girl's oh, name. Oh yes, Rachel was stopped on her way out of. It was so so sweet. Because Caesar's Palace. 
of course I'm like so excited and happy and proud of the community that we've built but obviously like I don't get like recognized when I go places. And then she yelled like Becca. She, no she she came up to me and she was just like and she was so sweet and like so quick and was like I love your channel brave like Beckham and I literally oh, was I so happy that. I screamed. <laughs> Didn't I? Yeah, no, I was Rachel like, ah! was so excited and I was like, oh my goodness, like she just found her long lost sister. <laughs> Basically. But that was so sweet and it made, it literally like made my whole trip. Like I haven't stopped thinking about it and I'm just like, oh, that was so sweet of her to come up to me. That was yeah. so nice. So hi, I love you so much. And thanks for saying hi. It literally like made my whole weekend. And um, if you see us together, I you can also stop me. That's so funny because I don't <laughs> She didn't even. <laughs> She's like, that guy you're She's with? like, well, that is no, so weird. <laughs> I had no, no idea she was I'm married. Just kidding. But she was like, seriously, the sweetest no, girl yeah. ever. And it just, I don't know, like, it was just so crazy to me because, like, obviously she immediately, like, talked about Beckham and just to be like, oh my gosh, like, you love and care about my son. Yeah. Like, it meant so much to me. That's guys. what we love so much about this community is just all of the love and support. Yeah. For our sweet little boy yeah. and our sweet little girl. But specifically, you know, Beckham, yeah. we, we appreciate you all and love you all. Yeah, you guys are the freaking best. So we'll see how much footage we get today. Yeah. We're we'll, just, we're we'll buying try and like do a... but we are vacationing. Yeah, we're, so. we're oh. we've never done this before here. I'll take over now. <laughs> we don't have a tripod. <laughs> um, we are splitting a cabana with our, like, our best friends. And we're so excited. We've never had a cabana, like, at a pool club we've actually never even been to a pool club before so we're just gonna lay out i'm gonna tan order tons of food because food and drinks are included so that'll be super fun yeah. and we're just gonna relax and then tonight we have reservations at a cool restaurant and tomorrow we're going to hell's kitchen and a magic show yes who is the magic show by chris Everyone angel knows. okay yeah chris angel. like chris angel mind freak i'm so excited i love magic shows i think they're so fun um uh, who was that guy that was on the billboard like David Franco or something um, there's, there's another there's magic guy who <laughs> <laughs> there's another magic guy here who's like super big Matt Franco I think is his yeah. name and I want to go see him next I'm like that's on my list because guys we're only five and a half hours from Vegas yeah and my arm's gonna fall off but I love you guys so much <gasps> surprise <laughs> surprise <laughs> my last clip was in Vegas on like the oh, first yeah, yeah, day, yeah, yeah. I don't even know where I am, what I'm doing. No, so here's... I'm so tired. Here's the story. We purchased a hotel Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night. Sunday night, 10 p.m. rolls around-ish. Yeah. And I went, hey, we should drive to Utah, uh, see if we survive. And Rachel's like, that's a great idea. And I'm like, yeah, I can get up, we can both work, we can go to the gym. We got home at like 4.15, no, like 4.30 p.m. A.M. After her dad briefed us on how Beckham was doing. So cute, he's so in love with that little boy. And then um, something really fun is our alarm clocks did go off and eight o'clock did in fact come. And we woke up and went to the gym. This is, I think, the most energetic I ever. think the hunter's like confusing you. <laughs> okay, so here's what happened. We were in Vegas for the weekend. You guys, it was literally so fun. I really didn't vlog because I don't think you would have like really cared to see it. We were there with another couple. It was so much fun. I briefed you a little earlier in the vlog. We went to a pool club and that was so fun. And we went to Chris Angel Magic Show last night and that was amazing. And we didn't have a babysitter set up for Monday, which is today. So, sorry, we're going through a dark bridge. <laughs> underpass, a dark underpass. But we didn't have a babysitter for today, so we decided that we would just leave after the magic show and drive home through the night. I'm sorry that I look like a literal highlighter right now. There we go. We decided we would just leave and drive through the night after the magic show. Hunter drove the whole time, he's amazing. We got home at 4.30, woke up at eight, because we thought we had an appointment for right. Blakely to be in the daycare at the gym. This is exactly the story I just and told. I think it was confusing. <laughs> really? I do. Okay, are you sure it's not your three and a half hours of sleep talking? <laughs> you guys, we're delusional. We're so tired, but <laughs> we are on our way home. We have Sis in the car with us, and Beckham is at preschool. Beckham is getting home in like 20 minutes, so we're hurrying home to be there for him. And then we are putting these children to bed for their nap. And Hunter and I will also be napping. We are so tired. It's insane. It hurts. But look at this cute, beautiful, perfect princess. 
She spent the morning with Nani and had so much fun playing with her cousin Halsey. She is so freaking cute. And we are just gonna try and like survive the rest of the day. We're gonna clean the house. Just like get back to our normal routine. We bought groceries and we will be much more energetic when you guys see us again. I think this is the world's longest vlog because I think I was vlogging so before I left for like Vegas too. Month. All I know is I need to let you guys go. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and close out today's vlog. I hope that you enjoyed this hot mess express. <laughs> and we will catch you guys in our next video. You guys, we always want to remind you to be brave yes. like Beckham. We be love you all. Be brave like Beckham. If you haven't yet, please hit that red subscribe button. Yes, we would love that so much. We love you guys. <laughs> Blakely, blow a kiss. Blow a kiss. Good, Good job, job. Sissy. <laughs>